So for this question, they say find the maximum n or maybe lah, maybe they say maybe you have maximum or minimum points. Points means maybe one, maybe two, maybe more than that of the curve for x between zero and pi over two. All right. So for the curve y, when you want to find your maximum minimum, you find out the critical first. Means you need to differentiate, find the first derivative. Let it zero to find out what's the x. So differentiate two sine, they give you two cos. Differentiate angle, they give you one. So one times two, I just remain as two cos x. Differentiate cos two x. Differentiate cos. Differentiate angle. Differentiate cos negative sine. Differentiate angle two. So to find critical, we let we let first derivative equals to zero. Then we try to solve for this. So that's why they will give us a range here. Uh, how many points they want to find here? If not, it will be infinite. Infinite answer. So that's why when you're doing trigo, most probably they will give us a range until which part they want us to give the answer. Alright, so simplify this. So this is a triple part. Simplify the equation. 2 cos x equals to 2 sin x. How to solve trigonometric equation? Back to our basic means your form of equation. Trigonometric equation is trigo, then angle, then equals to value. Whether you undergo factorize or what. You have to simplify your equation until you get trigo angle. Value. Then you start your first step. What's your range? What's your quadrant? What's your basic angle? What's your angle x here? Rotation. Alright, so this is like topic 7. Okay, so simplify this. 2 can be simplified. Sine Sin 2 x and cos x. Not same, but sine 2 x can be expressed as 2 sin x cos x. Alright. Then we connect back together so that you can catalyze cos x. So once we catalyze the cos x, You can get the pattern trigo angle value. Trigo find out the value. So this sine x so this is what you mean. You want to solve the trigonometry equation. Have to simplify until you get Trigo, what's the angle, what's the value? So our trigo here is cos. Angle is x, value is zero. So special value. Special angle. Trigo, angle, value, also special. So you can refer back your table or your graph. What kind of angle that can give you value zero? In cos. In cos. Cos x, cos x. So how far you want to answer this? Zero until pi over pi over two only. So pi over two. Here is two pi. Here will be pi. Pi over two. So we just focus on focus on this. Um, which angle that can give you value of zero? Yes. So your x here is pi over 2, included or not? Pi over 2 included or not? Not. So yes, we can get answer, but this is not in the range. So since the range only in between 0 and pi over 2, so this x equals to pi over 2, we will 
rejected. Only they can find the first critical, alright? So another part here, sign over 2. Sign equals to 1 over 2. So start with the range, you can see, quadrant, sign positive value, quadrant 1 and 2. What's your basic angle? See, sign 1 over 2, make sure your calculator in radian because we are dealing with pi, means in radian. What's your radian? What's your basic angle? Pi over 6. So how far, how far the rotation can go? Step number 4. Step 1, we can see the range. Step 2, we identify the quadrant. Step 3, find out basic angle. Step 4, we rotate. Rotate first quadrant. So this is your pi over 6. What's your angle? Also pi over 6. When we rotate until second quadrant, is it in the range? No, already out of the range. So our answer only having one, which is pi over six. So this only our critical number. So what is our y coordinate? This is our x coordinate, pi over six. So when x equals to pi over six, what is our y coordinate? Put back our original equation of 2 pi over 6. Just press the calculator. 3 over 2. Critical point is pi over 6, 3 over 2. Then we verify it is maximum or minimum. All right. So we do second derivative test from the first derivative dy dx. We get to two cos x negative two sine two x. Two cos x negative. Okay. So second derivative, differentiate cos, differentiate cos, negative, sine, differentiate sine 2x, differentiate sine, positive cos, right, differentiate angle 2, so negative 2 sine x minus cos 2x and we verify this x equals to pi over 6. So what's your second derivative value? So help me calculate this. So less than zero, concavity downward, this is maximum case. Conclusion, this is maximum point. <coughs>